Hey guys, so in just over a month from now, I'm planning on going to Bay Area Make a Fair, and I'm wanting to have my camera so I can set it up and be able to use it with a tripod, be able to carry it, everything without having to switch a bunch of stuff back and forth. Problem is, with the tripod I've got, this is the shoe or mount or whatever you want to call it that came with it. As you can see, when you go to put the camera on like this, it holds your hand away from the camera. You can't really grip the camera. It's not comfortable at all. Uh, with it in this position, I can't remove the battery if the battery dies. If I rotate it so that I can remove the battery and then still try to, to film with it, it sticks out even further. So it's just something that I didn't feel comfortable in, in trying to attempt at Bay Area Make Affair. You know, having to remove it and... It's a pain to remove sometimes. So I decided I wanted to create my own mount that will work with this tripod. So what I did is I went into Tinkercad. First thing I did is I created this. And this was just a just a little template. I wanted to see if I could come up with something that would fit at the bottom of the camera without sticking out past the sides of it. And that looked like it worked pretty good. Um, I'm not happy with having the screw all the way back here and the rest of it really unsupported but that's the nature of this camera it's got that one mount point all the way back there but I also want it where I could remove that battery and by having it like this I was able to to do that so from there I went in and I designed this and that's what you're going to see uh, in the Tinkercad uh, screenshot <laughs> when I designed this and uh, I just added some shapes together. I wanted something that wasn't real boxy looking, but I wanted something, you know, that, that was kind of smooth up against the hand. So I created this, and I went ahead and I printed in Cura, and I used their, I believe it's called in their experimental uh, menu. It's called Fuzzy Skin. And so I selected that, and it gives it a real nice textured feeling. Almost like, I don't know if you've ever felt like anodized aluminum, so when it's been like sandblasted and then anodized, it has that kind of a, a grip to it. So it, it's not where it'll slip out of your hand very easily. And I like that texture to it. So I went ahead and I went with that and I tried it on the, the camera and it does all right. The only thing was I, I at that time I didn't have a screw. So I was just kind of guessing what size screw I would be using. I didn't realize the heads of the screws for a quarter inch thread screw would be so large. So I had to go back in and remodel it. I created this model, um, which when I did the stream with Joel the other night, I went ahead and I <laughs> kind of showed him what I was doing with this. I changed the angle a little bit so it's a little bit offset. Created a bigger hole to it so the screw will fit into it a little bit, but it still didn't seat in there quite the way I imagined. The other th problem I had is it wanted to rotate. And I just want something a little bit more solid. So now... The next thing I've done is I've created this one. This just barely came off the printer. And uh, I resized it so I believe the screw will fit into it. But the only thing is I did notice that the screws are too long for what I'm needing. So I had to take one of the screws, put the nut on it, because in this bag it comes with the screws and the nuts. I got that, this from uh, Lowe's. These are the half inch screws. They don't have anything shorter than that which is unfortunate. So I just put the nut on here and I ground it down flush with the nut or fairly close to it. So I think that's going to make it where I should be able to to attach it to the camera now. So with that done, the other thing I need to do is I went ahead and I print out the pins for it. Now the first print pin that I printed, I printed a 4.5 millimeter thickness and it's just a little bit too too large to fit inside that hole. So this one just came off the printer. This was uh, knocked down to 4.25. And it's going to be tight, but I think I can get it in there. Um, and one thing I noticed, too, is because I have as 110% for my first layer, I'm having to kind of kind of take the, some of the flash out from where that filled in a little bit. So I just want to see if I can get that to fit in. That's still pretty tight. 
I don't want to have to take and print another one so I may have to cheat here yep I'm going to have to cheat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little drill bit and just drill that out just a hair and I'll readjust this in the in later on knock it down to probably just a four millimeter to just fit in that hole uh, tolerances on this printer on the Tivo Tarantula is pretty good so it's it's got to do with my modeling I'm sure something just didn't work out right so let me go ahead and get that fixed real quick okay so I found a 1364 drill bit which feels like it's going to be about right so I'm just going to open that up a little bit It's actually opened up a little bit too much, but that's alright because I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. Now the other part of it is this piece here has got some flash on it. And you know what, I might use that to my advantage. There we go. It's starting to go in now. So I'm just going to tap it in. Yeah, I'm not going to need any glue after all. Now the next thing is, so I got a little bit too much of a gap there, so I'm going to go ahead and cut off just a hair of this, which I was kind of afraid of when I printed it. Once again, this is just to keep it somewhat from spinning around once I put the screw in. That feels good right there. Let's go ahead and add the screw. Now the reason for using the nut whenever you uh, grind down a screw is so that when you remove the nut it kind of fixes the thread so that it will allow it to screw back into a, a nut or in this case into the camera. That's nice and tight. It's not rotating. It's got a little bit of a wobble there but not enough for, for it to spin around on me. Oh, there we go that's a lot better now when I'm walking through Maker Faire see that I don't know if you can see the gap between my hand now and that even whenever I grab the grip <laughs> now whenever I actually grasp the camera you can see it's just barely there and this part down here is just barely touching my wrist if I really go over like that I can feel it dig in but the way I normally held this camera like this I think it's going to be perfectly fine. It's definitely more comfortable than that was, that's for sure. And the other thing I noticed too, whenever I was talking with Joel the other night, it actually seems more balanced uh, because I usually have this this larger lens here on the front. So the way it's positioned, it seems like it's more balanced even just sitting on the foot like that. So I think that's going to work great. I know it already fits on the tripod mount um, and one thing that I did change from the original file is I actually had to add three millimeters onto the bottom thickness of this in order for the the latch on the tripod to actually grab hold of it correctly so I think that is going to do the trick anyway guys I just wanted to show you this um, I will put the file up on Thingiverse if anybody is interested in a mount like this uh, this is a 35 millimeter shoe um, or, or the, the mount is a 35 millimeter so uh, if you need to take and change it for yours you're more than welcome to do it I'll uh, also put a link in uh, the Tinker in the Thingiverse file I'll put a link to the Tinkercad original file so if anybody wants to change it you're more than welcome to, to do it on there but anyway guys thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care bye Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my TeePublic store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.